Hey friends, what's up? Cons here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial. These are just bucket tutorials um, for you guys who are maybe joining me for the first time. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I do these every week. And if you have a suggestion of a plugin I haven't done yet, be sure to check my list first because I've done, I think, about 70 of these so far. So, But feel free to suggest that below. I will uh, take note of that and give you a shout out uh, if I use that one. So this week is brought to you by Lynx Gamers. And uh, this is Block Party by Leon167, CPX1989, and X Chappelle, Chappelle. Yeah, I don't even know how you pronounce the last author's name. But anyway, some dependencies for this one to work right off the bat. You need World Edit. It's a huge dependency. You'll get to, you'll understand it here in a moment. We're also going to go over a little bit how you use schematics in World Edit. So if you've ever been curious about that, that's going to be helpful for you as well. You also need the bar API, which is the boss bar thing at the top. And then the note block api as well for uh playing sound so be sure to check those out i'll put links in the jewels below also check out the author's page for this plugin so let's get into it the first thing you need to do is uh get out of third person view so i've already kind of got a uh a lobby and then the the floor already done so this is actually the starting floor that comes with the uh the plugin itself and it's 42 by 42 so they recommend that size for the floor because this is how big the examples are and you already get two floors off the bat with this plugin i'll show you how to make new ones but first let's get into it create um what do we want to call it cause sure we're going to create a name yes so arena cause was successfully created so um, if you ever get in a spot with this one, you can actually do BP, which is short for block party tutorial, and it'll actually tell you exactly how to do this. So those of you guys who don't like reading or are more visual learners, that's why this video is here. Cause I like watching videos to learn how to do stuff. So BP, and then you got to set your spawn for your lobby. So we're going to like, here, let's do this. Let's mark it so I can show you when we're doing the testing. This is going to be the spawn of the lobby so this is where people are going to be teleported to when they join the arena and when they die you know when they get killed the best example of this is on the hive they have block party and it works pretty much the same as that so set spawn and then cause lobby so arena is disabled oh okay i guess you got to enable the arena before you can start that's interesting okay that's fine then we're just going to go back up lobby spawn so there we go we got our spawn set now we need to set the floor so what we want to do is get your your wand which what you do is just slash slash wand this is part of world edit so be sure to check out my world edit tutorial if you've never used it before so you left click on one end and right click on the other so there's our floor and then we do uh, bp set floor cause so floor was set for arena now the last of it is we need to set the spawn so we got to do we got to do bp set spawn cause and then game so this is going to set the, the spawn for the game so there we go we got the the spawn now we got everything to do to play and now the only problem is we only have two floors uh, we have the starting floor, which is this, and then we have an example floor, which comes with it. I'll show you guys how you can see what those are. We're going to make a small change to this one, and then we will um, save another one, and I'll show you how that works. So the, if if you do want a tutorial, a built-in tutorial, the same thing. He's got one here, schematics, and that's going to tell you exactly how to do this. So let's make a change to this. Um, all right, so here we are. We got our floor laid out, which is, it looks awful, but you know, this is just for example. So we want to left click on one corner. I've already done that actually. And then you want to right click on the opposite corner here. Now what you want to do is you want to do copy first. So that's going to load everything into the clipboard, so to speak. And then you want to do skim save tutorial. So that's, the, that's our schematic that we're going to save. So now I'm just going to do this in the back end real quick just so I can show you guys what it looks like. So what you want to do, and I'll show you how it, what it, uh, exactly what to do here in a moment, but um, I'm going to copy the schematic over into um, Block Party. And then what you want to do is you want to do BP add floor to the arena and then tutorial. Oops. 
is the name of it. All right, so even though a lot of this shows up, it actually does add it to the arena configuration file. Let's go over and check that out. All right, so here we are in our server right here. So it started, I'm actually using Spigot, which it actually works really well. So we're gonna go into the plugins folder. You see all of these dependency plugins here. You got block party, world edit. So the thing that I did behind the scenes here is you went into world edit, went into schematics, copied this, this uh, schematic, that's the one that we created over to the block party floor schematic. So now it's listed in here. So now what you do is you go into your arena and just double check and this is where your floor is going to be is going to be listed. Now you can also modify a lot of different things in here. So this is how much time you get to search for the announced block. This is how much time that's re reduced per level. And then level 15 is going to be the maximum, which I think is going to be pretty much like one second to search. So if it's uh, if you're still able to get to the block, it's pretty pretty chance there. But um, that is the configuration file. The last bit that we want to go over is the permissions nodes. So you have basically just two permissions. It's really easy for your users. That's just blockparty.user, and then for your admins, that's blockparty.admin. That will allow people to be able to use arenas, uh, set add new floors, all that stuff. The big one is just the command to join a game. So it's just BP space join space game, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. Let's go ahead. Okay, so here we are, we're gonna test this out. A couple things I wanted to go over before we test it out because I figured it out last time I started filming this test sequence. But the next, the one thing that I overlooked was the out block. So the, what you need to do is you need to set what block they land on and they're out. So you can set it however far down below or whatever you want. But by default, it is number seven, which is bedrock. So go ahead and put that below your um, arena there. And then the other thing is I'll put an overlay um, a picture of the configuration file right here. So what we wanted, the one thing that we missed is in the enabled floors section, we didn't add the start floor, which is what is listed right up here right now. And then we also did not add any more songs to it. There's a few, there's two other ones that come with it by default. And so we wanted to add those. Okay, so we are, we already got our test dummy in there. So we gotta go BP, oops, BP join cause and then you can actually set those to command uh, signs as well so people can use signs to join the arenas they don't have to type in the command so you see the countdown timers there and then we're waiting because this guy is not actually in the match there we go game starts soon so countdown timer you can see it at the top that's that bar api plugin and then the note block uh thing is here so now we can see we can um, I kind of want to hear this one. So I'm going to vote for Fireflies. We're going to make him vote for Fireflies. And there we go. Let's make sure we got sound. Looks like I have it turned off. There we go. Game starting. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. And now we just wait for the block to come up. Waiting. So we need to go to purple. Shoot. Let's see if we get him here. <laughs> Get there, get there, get there. Yes, got there, sweet. So let's see, it's kind of, it doesn't change the floor very often. It's like every three or four, it'll change the floor. But uh, next block is pink. I think this is pink. Yes, that is pink. Get there. Okay. <laughs> this is very difficult to play with two people on the same computer. All right, next block is waiting uh scion so not very far <laughs> this note block thing's kind of funny here we go let's do this um waiting green crap all right so he's not gonna make it and you didn't see the floor change but it does change it doesn't change very often and then he lands on that and he's eliminated congratulations you won the game you will get a reward when you leave the arena so then after a few seconds you get teleported back to the spawn and then you can do bp leave and um it'll teleport you back to where you were when you started when you joined and then you get diamond because that's our win condition there so there it is pretty fun um it's actually 
it's it's a little complicated with adding the floors, but it's uh, it's not too bad once you just know the configuration and world edit. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to uh, put a comment in the jibbles below and let me know what you thought of it. If you have a suggestion for one that you'd like to see, feel free to note that below. But this is Cos from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Six men. Run back, run back. One hey. demon. <laughs> Where'd you go? I bought the pumpkin. No! <laughs> oh, that was a sweet kill. Wait till you see that one.